नमस्ते वेलकम टू डॉक्टर ए आर एम केमिस्ट्री वी आर डिस्कसिंग ए क्वान्टिटेटिव मेजर्स ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी हियर ड्रैगो एंड वेल इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव प्रोवाइडेड टू पैरामीटर्स दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक एंड कोहेलेट फैक्टर्स सो इट मीन्स द कंपाउंड इज मीन्स बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म or molecule is formed having some electrostatic characters and some covalent characters so in order to understand we have to correlate that by using this equation <coughs> so quantitative measurement can be done on the basis of this enthalpy change for this purpose we can consider simple reaction a plus b gives a b so here a is lewis acid b is lewis base and ab is the adduct so this delta h has negative value so e is the electrostatic factor <coughs> electrostatic factor so e for e a for lewis acid e b for lewis base and c is covalent factor here <coughs> c is covalent factor and ca for lewis acid cb for lewis base <coughs> here we can understand this effect using suitable reaction so for example if you consider the reaction between i2 and c6h6 here i2 is lewis acid and c6h6 benzene is lewis base so after reaction it gives a adduct and this acid has electrostatic factor 1.00 and covalent factor that is 1.00 also base benzene has electrostatic factor 0.525 and <coughs> this covalent factor 0.681 <coughs> so this drago and weyland has explain these two factors in order to <coughs> consider the for <coughs> re enthalpy of reaction so if you calculate this delta h so we have taken this negative sign on this side and then we have got this equation <coughs> so minus by substituting the values in this ea and eb from this equation we can get this and finally we can obtain this so the value is given in kilo calories minus 1.206 kilo calories per mole it is equivalent to minus 5.046 kilo joules per mole similarly experimental values for delta h is obtained which is minus 1.0 uh, minus 1.3 kilo calories which is equivalent to Minus 5.5 kilojoules per mole. So if you compare these values, that is, this is these values are calculated. So we can write this as calculated, and this is experimental value. So if you compare, you will find that there is nearly 10 percent uh, increase in this experimental value. <coughs> so you will find that there is the values are experimental values and calculated values are not exactly the same so there is 10% increase in the values <coughs> if you uh, if we vary this lewis base and the reaction is carried out with using this iodine means iodine is used as a lewis acid but we are varying the lewis bases so when the reaction is carried out with different uh, <coughs> lewis bases then we found that the <coughs> values so the experimental uh, so the calculation does not agree with the experimental values so other experiment other bases with i2 have enthalpies much more different means here the values are differing by just a 10% here it is also 10% but if we use other lewis bases with iv it is found that the difference is much larger <coughs> so it means the you know, drago and valence 
these two factors are not giving the uh, <coughs> trustworthy results by calculation and uh, uh, experiment, experimental method. <coughs> so the Drago then carried out the average of these uh, experimental values. So he varied the different combinations between acids and bases and he obtained a large amount of data. Then he calculated or obtained the average of all these data for EA and CA, similarly EB and CB. And then he found that, so after taking the average, he found that there is just a variation of by 5% means the accuracy is much more increased by such <coughs> taking average of the values of enthalpies. <coughs> then we can also found that <coughs> the here Drago made the agreement argument Drago made the argument that the electrostatic and covalent approach explains acid-base reaction <coughs> adductor formation very well. He <coughs> said that the electrostatic and covalent approach explains acid-base reaction for giving the adduct which is better explained than the HSAB theory. So Drago's concept explains much better the electrostatic and covalent uh, character approach much better means it is more successful than the Pearson's HSAB approach or theory. If we <coughs> compare the data with the values, if we compare this data with the values in certain cases, if we take the example of this argument that Iodine reacts strongly with diethyl sulfide. Iodine reacts strongly with diethyl sulfide <coughs> and gives the adduct. <coughs> so <coughs> He obtained the result that here I2 is I2 is soft Lewis acid and this diethyl sulfide is also a soft Lewis base and therefore <coughs> he found that the delta change change in enthalpy for this reaction is minus minus delta is delta H is minus seven point eight seven point eight <coughs> and <coughs> kilojoules per mole per mole and in case of if we take another that is diethylether so using this if we use diethylether this value of delta H that is for I2 O C2H5 twice, this delta H is higher, it is minus 4.2 minus 4.2 kilojoules per mole. Kilojoules per mole. <coughs> so According to <coughs> Drago, this value of diethyl ether is much higher than this. It means I2 reacts much better way with this diethyl ether than that with this soft ladies base diethyl sulfide. So this conclusion can be drawn easily on the basis of such <coughs> arguments. Then we can consider the different values we can have 
different values for Levy's acid chain basis for uh, these covalent factors and electrostatic factors. So I will just uh, read out these values. So for acids, the CA values <coughs> are, you can write here, for acids, for acids, the CA values, CH3Cl has CA values and EA values. CA value is 0.154. And this EA is 3.2. Then for C6H5OH, this is 0 0.442 and this is 4.33. Then for M, F3, CF3, CF3, C6H4OH. The value is 0 0.530 and here it is 4.48. Then here for trimethylborate C C H price it is 1.70 and 6.40. So we can have these values in this. Then for basis, Levy's basis. So C A and EB, uh, EB and CB values are like this. So we give the examples. Here we are taking 6H6 high value 0.681 and 0.525. Then for CH3CM. The value is 1.34 and 0.886. Then for CH3 twice CO, it is 2.33 and 0.987. Then for CH3 twice SO, so 2.85 and 1.34 for NH3 the value is 3.46 and 1.36 so these are various uh, these are a few examples so in literature you can find number of such examples <coughs> so here using these values using these values we can carry out some calculations and we can compare so i will remove <coughs> to show these values <coughs> so using such data we can calculate <coughs> so for example if we take the reaction between bf3 and nh3 that is bf3 is Levy's acid and NH3 is a Levy's base. So this on reaction gives <coughs> BF3 NH3 as arc. BF3 NH3 as an arc. <coughs> so this has delta H. We can have the delta H for this reaction delta H in kilocalories kilocalories per mole is shown here so for this reaction the delta H is minus 19 point minus 19 point 0, 4, 2. Then if we change this base, so here for BF3 that is Levy's acid, we know that CA is 1.62, EA is 9.88. Then for here NH3, 
the CB is 3.46 and EB is 1.36. So using this we can get the values that is the delta H minus 19.044 that we have seen the equation earlier <coughs> given by Drago and Veland. Then if we change the base, so for using another base that is CH3, so this value is given here for. So <coughs> we can have another base that is CH3 NH2. So you, for this base, we can have also different values. So here we will find that the CB is equal to 5.88 and EB, EB is equal to 1.30. So for this, you will have the delta H 22.537. Then for another base that is CH3 twice NH, the CB values are 8.73 and EB value is 1.29. So for this, the delta H value decreases, it becomes minus 24. Point ninety one. Then, if we take another base that is CH3 thrice N, the CB value is 11.54 and EB value is 0 0.991. And for this, you will find that the delta H is minus. 28.49. So if we observe the, the basis, when we are changing the base, the acid is same, but we are varying the base basis. So first this first base that is B of 3 or uh, NH3, you will find that this value delta H is minus 19.25. Then if we take the base CH3 and H2, means here in case of NH3 we have replaced the one hydrogen by CH3. So this value of delta H is found to be decreasing. The amount of delta H is decreasing. Minus 20.37 is comparatively lower value. Again if we replace one more hydrogen of this NH3 with CH3, you will get this CH3 twice NH for which the delta H is minus 24. Means the value is again decreasing. Here, <coughs> this CB, uh, CH3 thrice, means all hydrogen, soft nitrogen are replaced by alkyl group, that is methyl group. Then you will get this delta H again minus 28.49, means it is much lower. So, <coughs> in this case, you will find that this value is maximum for delta H. And what is meant by this? Increasing value or the decreasing the value with the replacement of this H by methyl groups. So it indicates that this product is much more stable, means the reaction of BF3 and NH3 is largely favorable. <coughs> so uh, this indicates that the ionic characters, so this has more ionic characters and ionic and less covalent characters. So in this case the BF3 and H3 has more ionic characters and less covalent characters. But as we move down the covalent characters increases. Covalent characters increase. So this is confirmed by this my delta H values. <coughs> so this train can explain very well what is the rule of these uh, delta H values. <coughs> Again, if we take <coughs> a 
if we consider that the dragos system as we have seen that which uses the concept of means two parameters electrostatic factor and this covalent factor so this dragos system is found to be best in quantitative manner but the hsab concept is found to be theoretical manner means sometimes the quantitative approach given by drago he explains very well but sometimes when it fails the qualitative approach given by peers on the basis of that softness or hardness explains the characters much better so enthalpy change is here an important factor again pearson concept uh, emphasized on the covalent factors as a result of this he gave this equation where the covalent factor is more important so log q that is equilibrium constant sa into sb plus sigma a into sigma b so here you will find that this sa explains sa explains inherent strength inherent strength of acid a and base b of acid a and base b similarly the sigma factor explains softness of this acid a and b so <coughs> here the pearson has used the inherent strength <coughs> of acids and bases similarly the softness of acids and bases so <coughs> he found that the larger values of the strength of soft strength larger values of strength that is larger values of this sa and sb and softness the larger values of softness means both when the values are found to be larger it leads to the larger equilibrium constant so log k is more in the large when the both values are larger and it needs to consider more than just the hardness or softness when we are working with acid base reactions <clears throat> his more recent development of absolute hardness is based on orbital energies is based on orbital energies and returns to a single parameter and considers only gas phase reactions so he <clears throat> derived his conclusion in this way both the scientist that is drago and pearson and drago has given electrostatic and covalent factors whereas pearson has emphasized on hsab that is qualitative approach of these lewis acids and bases and if we compare the application of these both uh, approaches drago's approach and the pearson approach drago's approach Uh, and pearson approach cannot work together <clears throat> means when one approach fails another approach is brought in uh, application for it means when drago's approach is working well pearson's approach does not work well and when drago's approach fails to explain the parameters uh, and reaction behavior acid base behavior then we can use the pearson's Uh, soft means acid base or hardness or softness factor this is a qualitative approach <clears throat> means either of the approach uh, cannot work well <clears throat> means every each type of approach has certain limitations therefore we have to use both approaches as per our convenience <clears throat> when E and C number is available. Means 
the uh, values of electrostatic and covalent factors are available then we can means it is better to use dragos approach and when these values are not available we have to use hsab approach given by this uh, pearson <coughs> so additional factors are also frequently used in which the solvation is important so it is not taken into account by both drago and pearson so solvation factor is not taken into account by both drago and pearson but it is independent factor but under most conditions <coughs> the reactions are influenced by solvent interaction so we are also very well known that the solvent uh, much plays also very important role in bringing out the uh, interaction between lewis acid and lewis base so <coughs> we have to take the decision accordingly as per the uh, observations so with this we will stop our discussion so <coughs> please subscribe to this channel and press bell icon and like button so thank you very much for watching this video